last edition of my blog, we were in Homer for a six-course Thanksgiving meal. And then... The game we saw, we shooed. After a three-hour trek through the Alaskan wilderness, we waved goodbye to our host and moved on to our next event in beautiful Kachemak Bay. Look at that. Our next stop is to the Bear Creek Winery for a tasting. But we're not just going to be tasting wines. Believe it or not, we're actually even going to be spending the night at the winery. After skiing all day or fishing, this is where you want to be. Take a steam and jump yeah. in the tub? Yes. And I'm all in there. Okay. There are two suites available at the winery, the Arctic Suite and the Cowboy Suite. You can probably guess which one we stayed in. And the accommodations, well, are sweet. But now it's time for the tour. These are mostly raspberries, golden raspberries that we grew. This is a homegrown operation, all the way from the bottling to the labeling. But hosts Bill and Deborah Fry say it's what they put in their bottles that truly sets them apart. It's called must if you're making wine and wort if you're ready to make beer. A look into their wine cellar has my friend James on cloud nine. He dreams of one day opening his own winery. This is Parmesan cheese. And of course, at the end of the tour, it would be absolutely rude if we didn't sample their wares. This is the driest of our reds. This may be the last frontier, but we're not uncivilized. This one's going to be a little zippier. This is the Australian Shiraz berry, and it also is blended with raspberries. What really makes this place unique is that most of the wines you're sampling are not made from grapes. Total taste change. Everyone knows how good Alaskan blueberries are, but most have never had them in a bottle. This is our blueberry Merlot. No Merlot here at the Bear Creek Wine. We have Merlot. Jackie turned me on to the blueberry Merlot years ago, and James, I think he's figured out what he wants to do when he grows up. As some new customers arrive and the tasting continues, James and I realize oh, we got to get down to the spit, the Homer spit. We have arranged for dinner at a Homer institution, the Chartroom Restaurant and Bar at the Land's End Hotel. Our host, Daryl Oliver, says he's got a surprise for us and asks if we have any shellfish allergies. Okay. Food. <laughs> Lots of food. Now, once a month, the Chartroom hosts a thing called Uncorked. It's food and wine pairings for a very reasonable price. Oh, boy. Ooh. Any Anytime I see crab... Oh, oh look at that. Just, Holy oh, mackerel. Oh. Appetizer. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, that's just the appetizer? I want to know what this is. Yes. Crab, shrimp, mussels, clams, halibut, salmon, and deep fried spinach. It's incredible. It's wonderful. The Alaskan steamer pot is a fairly new feature to their menu, and boy, am I glad they're <laughs> featuring it now. <laughs> Time to crack. But we're not even to the entree yet. I don't know if you can top this. No. Mm -mm. They're probably going to try, though. Okay. Now, for the record, James and I are both carnivores, wow. so I've got the baby back ribs, and Jimmy, yes. he's going all prime. How many ounces is that? A hundred. And <laughs> All the mini meal where you need a wet nap to finish it off. Soon our stomachs runneth over. That's a full rack of baby back ribs. That's what I'll be having for breakfast tomorrow. For me, one of the great parts of a gourmet meal is the gourmet leftovers. That was awesome. And the only thing left on the agenda is to head back to the hot tub at the winery and toast another successful Homer weekend. Come on, everybody, open up your mind. What you do not see, you shall not Come on, everybody, just let yourself go. You're fooling yourself if you think you're in control.